everybody, what's up? This is Eartha coming to you live on my wall. I'm actually in my brand new office and I'm working on my graffiti piece that's in the background. I'll, I'll stop and show you in a second. But um, I wanted to kind of walk you through part of the process of a graffiti, my process of a graffiti art piece. I'm covered in paint and I'll show you why. Um, first of all, let me open this door. Hi! We are at NoHo MMA. This is our new gym. I'm going to turn this fan off. I have a fan blowing, a very industrial fan, blowing into the office to kind of alleviate uh, fumes. But also, what I just took off here was a face mask. So I always wear a face mask. Um, this is a really good one. And uh, something really awesome. I'm going to show you my paint. There's my paint. Um, I'm trying this new brand. It's called Evolve. And I love it. I'm really, really loving it. Um, one of the things I loved about it was when I went to the site, um, it said that it was ozone friendly. So I was like, yay, finally. And it's such a quality paint. Usually when uh, paint companies try to get all, you know, environmental, they lose the quality. You know, it's like watery or runny or thin. Um, and like Rust-Oleum is thin and watery. Um, some other paints, but Evolve, word up. I give you mad props. This is my first time using you, and I love it. So here's the process, you guys. Um, what I first do is, behind me, well, no, 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 nah, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the process. What I first do, first do, as I get into my black book, which is a sketchbook, and I sketch out what I want to do. So this is NoHo, right, and then here it is behind me. Okay, and then did fit on the same page because I always draw too big, <laughs> and I always have to use two pages. And so this is MMA, and so this is the. Let me shut the door. This is actually it says MMA behind me. Okay, so there's M, there's an M, and there's an A, and this is called Wild Style Graffiti Art. If you guys don't know, um, I just want to include you in the process because it's part of me and I know you guys are my awesome followers and I follow you too and I love to see your process. Like for example, one of my friends is the bomb is bath bomber. Like yeah, she makes bombs and candles. I'm just like, I love watching her process. So here we are. Um, okay, so what I did was I first put up the sketch and I like to use a color like baby blue because when I go over it with colors and whites, this doesn't show through. That's why I don't sketch in like a black. Um, that's for that reason. And in the backgrounds, I wanted to do gray, light gray, dark gray, and I wanted to come around onto a black and then circle the room. And so what I did here was I have matte black on the wall, and this style of doing a, a shine on top of a matte is called murdered out, when you do the same color on the same color, but one is matte, one is uh, like a satin or a shine. So this is a murdered out, and all over this wall it says, stay true, and that is my motto, stay true, just stay true to you, dude, be you, stay true to you, that's the whole motto behind beauty graffiti, just everything about it. Um, so then what I like to do is a really signature thing that I do in my art, is I like to do splashes with metallics, it's just something I like to do, and it's just become a, like, on my signature thing. So what I do is I have splashes here. I first start with a black, and then I go for a copper, then a gold, and then I top it with like a silver. So it looks like that, and it just kind of adds dimension. And so how I do that is I have one cap, and I take a spray can, and I go psh, and I fill it with the cap, and then literally I'm like here, and I just like, I like splash it on the wall. And so here, I wanted to do up splashes, so it's like I got my cap and then I'll like literally just go psh, psh, and then, you know, splatter where I want splatters. So that the, the uh, splashes have motion. I don't want to just have like randomness. I want motion. So in my art, like I want everything to, to move. And like some graffiti artists are amazing at characters. And I'm, I'm more like a letter bender. I love to bend letters and create motion and just movement. And so building your background first on behind your sketch gives all that motion and that like bzz, 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 direction and motion and energy rather than just like a flat static piece of work. So that actually trans translates over into our makeup when we do shadows. It trans over, you know, if you're a canvas painter, um, you definitely want to work from the back forward, okay? <laughs> so that's part of my process. I am covered 
and spray paint. Like legit. <laughs> I was gonna go live and my husband's like, babe, you know your whole your face is covered in paint. I'm like, yeah, I know, it's just part of the process. Um, I actually did a skincare uh, beauty graffiti show today, so I started off good. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go home and like totally redo it, of course, obviously. Take care of your skin first. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's part of my process. That's the backgrounds. I wanna create movement and life. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my white and I'm gonna go white on white here. And I'm gonna start filling in. And I'm gonna create an over and under pattern and then go in with outlines, designs all the extras that makes it all super fab. And then I also have a signature thing where I do like a double 3D. Um, and it's just kind of like just been my thing since like the 80s. <laughs> so I'm going to hit this with a double 3D. So I'm super excited about that. All right, you guys, that's part of the process. And that's what I'm doing right now at NoHo MMA. And I really am sorry I don't have my glasses. If you have a comment, I promise I'll come back. Um, after I'm done painting a little bit and when I have my glasses on. So I'm so sorry if you guys commented, but thank you for being here. And um, this is so much fun. I can't wait for it to be done. Um, I love to just kind of ignore elements like a door. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I can paint over that. Who cares? <laughs> but this is the office I'm making for me and Mr. Shanji. He's just seen it for the first time. What does it look like? <laughs> it's too much. Go out, baby. Go out. I've uh, I've got the whole room masked off. This is a window. I masked off this window, so very very little fumes are getting out there. And um, I have to wait and paint till we have no more classes. So my husband finished the kids' class tonight at six o'clock, and I'm gonna be painting probably for like another hour or so. Catch you later, skater. That is part of the process. Booyah! You guys take care. Rock your world. Bye.